Hi guys, what's up? I'm Mary Kay Richardson, Rapid Transformational Therapy Practitioner, fancy words, which means I help people get past the things that are keeping them stuck. Maybe that's that long since ended toxic relationship, you're out of it now, and you're just carrying the energy still with you. Um, that you, Maybe you have unhealed childhood trauma, high anxiety, self-doubt, whatever it is that's keeping you stuck, keeping you from reaching your success goals, um, that's, those are the types of things that I help people with. Let's jump into this video though. Who do narcissists attach to? I'm excited for this video because these knowing these four things can change the direction of any potential relationship and save you loads of heartache, loads of time of putting up with a narcissist and, um, and lots of hurt and pain as well. So who do narcissists attach to? Number one, empaths. Number two, people pleasers. Number three, people who mirror back to the narcissist what they most want to hear. People, uh, number four, people with out boundaries, people who aren't good and don't respect their own boundaries. These four things are what narcissists attach to. They seek out these people and we call it supply. They're looking for new supply of attention. Narcissists can never get enough attention. They never stop talking about themselves and they redirect. They've learned politically correct. It's They have to talk about people every now and then, but they always shift the conversation back to themselves. So that's a key thing that they do. What they also look for, of course, people pleasers, um, people who are nice, kind, and will um, you know listen to them and not put up a boundary of, hey, you know, I gotta go, or hey, I have an early morning. Um, I can't be texting right now. I've gotta, you know, I've gotta go to sleep, whatever. When you set up a boundary like that and then they text you again, I mean, not to say goodnight or something, but they text you again when they know that you're trying to sleep, that is a person who is not respecting your boundaries. Um, what narcissists love to do is push against your boundaries, try to renegotiate your boundaries, and they love people who have no boundaries. And they like to keep you confused by trying to um, say things like, well, you said you wanted a relationship, but it doesn't seem like you have time. No, the answer is I don't have time for you because you're pushing against my boundaries. So, but they will always try to keep you confused in your own mind to believe what they want you to believe, their reality versus your own. Um, Empaths. Empaths are kind, sweet people. I'm an empath. I pick up on people's energy all the time where it feels uh, like they need attention. They need, you know, um, reassurance or whatever. But narcissists, they need constant validation. It's never enough. So if you are fine, every time you're with a person, they constantly need more validation from you. But they're not doing any self work on their own to heal themselves. That's a red flag that you need to pay attention to and, and potentially stay away from this person because they are counting on you to feed them and heal them, not just once, endlessly. So if you want to save yourself some heartache, create some distance. Also, what you can do in these types of relationships is uh, don't validate the narcissist, uh, don't mirror them, and focus on you and test them. Bring the focus back to yourself and see how long the narcissist, the, the, the person you think is a narcissist, see how long they can focus on you before they bring the conversation back to themselves and see how sincere they are. Because if they're over the top, over the top, uh, telling you things that like even your best friend and those that love you, you know, wouldn't tell you, like they're just over the top gushy and like love bombing you, that's a red flag because that tells you they don't know when to stop. Narcissists really, their emotions, it's as if they are a computer and they don't really know how much is too much and they think more is always better, but it's fake. It's insincere and doesn't really feel good, right? Because yeah, we all want to hear good things, but when it's like love bombing, when it's just over the top, it's like ridiculous because you know they're just waiting for the moment that you can talk about them again. All right, I hope this finds you well. Who do narcissists attach to? Empaths, people that will mirror them back what they most want to hear. They attach to people who are, have no boundaries or few boundaries or they don't keep their boundaries up. They attach to people who um, 
are people pleasers. So I hope this finds you well. I'm Mary Kay Richardson. I help professionals and entrepreneurs get past the things that are keeping them stuck so you can have all the success that you want. You can have the life of your dreams and be happy. Bye for right now.